Hi traders, welcome back to another trade recap. So this week has been a good week for me. Had multiple big runners. Big, how I define big runners? Anything that's above five times my risk. Anything above five R. So if you look at the four hour time frame on this one, so the entire thesis on um Aussie dollar. Why not let's talk about the daily chart. On the daily chart, it's pretty straightforward. I'm still bullish on Aussie dollar as price pulls back really deep. I understand that the market structure are still bullish and I was relatively looking for price to come back between this 6594 and 6540 zone. So that's it for the daily, all right? Let's drop down to the one hour chart. And if you pay close attention to how price previously reacted at 6575. So if we go back to all the trade recaps recently, I'll say for recent one to two weeks, you can actually see I took multiple long positions on Aussie dollar and most of them were winners. I, I think I only took one loss in between, but all of them were winners. The first one was at 65.70, covered the position at the high. Then I took another re-entry at 60, I think it was around 66.20 and covered it at the high. And then I took another re-entry right here at 66.48 or 43, covered my position at 95.4. So three positions, all of them were 3R, 5R, 7R, etc. And this position is as well 7R+. plus. So before I get started, just let you all have a look at the PL as usual. Uh, just a bit of proof, as you, can, as you can actually see. Closed out the position for $22,263. So that's about, I'm risking $3,000 so, uh, with a skill in size. I'm making about 7 R, uh, 7.5 seven R. So one hour chart, pretty straightforward. We got triple bottom here. As price really started to pull back, they remember on Wednesday, we had a massive, massive sell off right there. And that massive sell off was basically because that beginning of this week, we got multiple, multiple red news coming up. So when you got so many red news coming up, marketers likely do some sort of correction to attract the retail traders onto the wrong side. So that was what I've been thinking about the entire thesis. And I took multiple big runners here. All longs, all win. So as price really started to pull back deep, your job as a trader is not to immediately switch your bias. That's how most of the traders actually lose money in long term. That's because they don't have a fixed um, a manner of fixed approach, a fixed bias onto the market. When price starts to pull back a little bit deeper, ah, maybe my long is not working. Maybe I'll switch to short. I don't generally generally care about them. As price really starts to pull back deep, the biggest question that I asked myself was, I'll allow myself two entry levels. The first one is 66.41 because that is a pretty significant support as well. I took a loss here and that was a full one hour risk. I lost 3,000 here. As price starts pulling deep, I took another re-entry. So why did I decide? So if you if you look at this one, you, you, you might say, hey, that's out of nowhere, right? Not really. Because why? Because when we had that triple bottom, if that triple bottom was a confirmed market structure shift, which, me, which means it's a confirmed reversal point, high chance if buyers are still in control, it wouldn't go back to the absolute low. So when I was looking for my second entry level, as I took one loss there, I have to be extremely careful of my second entry. Because if I took another loss again, I can't get involved anymore. I only allow myself up to two re-entries per trade. That's it. So as price really started to sell off, I asked myself, where is the confirmed high low? And the answer is right here. Previously, when price was at 0 0.66, look at how we formed that triple bottom. Then we come back for a nice pullback, right? If you really come back for a nice pullback. And at that point onwards, we found a lot of buyers. And that was the origin of that market structure shift. So as price pulls back into this 66 level, I started to drop down to the 5-minute chart to look for a lower time frame trigger that allows me to really tighten my stops at the same time, being able to write this like this one, 400 pips plus 102 pips. So as price really starts to, to pull back down, I saw one thing, an absolute high quality signal, which is this wedge pattern or what I call a weakness pattern, right? a falling wedge. 
Then as we broke above the falling wedge, what happened? We come back for a nice retest. That's my trigger there. So I took the position and held it for over two days. So I actually held this position for over two days. In between, it was not an, an easy hold at all. Frankly speaking, it's not easy to hold. But when things are in the favor, all of us, as a especially as a retail trader, as a discretionary trader, you need to know when to go when to actually go more aggressive as things move into your favor go big all right really go more aggressive stick to your plan stick to your rules stick to your principles don't get fluctuated because of a bit of market noises all right if i were to not be patient or if i were not being disciplined i would have closed out the position around that 66 42 right for maybe seven to eight grand but why did i hold on this position all the way up it's not because i was focusing on pnl that was because I was focusing on the plan, on the price action. As price starting to push, can you see a minor flag there? Broke through the high, form a solid pin bar. That is a nice area to actually scale in. So I add on another eight lots. The first position I was risking only about 2,005. So uh, as you can see, the first position was actually 16.6 lots. Second one was actually eight lots. So that's about 45 to 50% scale in. So as price continued to form a pin bar, took another scale in, then when price was actually holding above that 66.42, I already knew this was going to be a winner. So honestly, not because I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to boast or what, but every time when price when price form a significant support like this, like 66.40, and we're holding nicely above with multiple tails, can you see how many tails we have here? pretty much tells you that buys are in control and we are in an accumulation phase buys are actually trying to buy more buy more buy more and eventually go all the way up because you can imagine the main reason why we got two massive sales here that was because retail traders are still on the memory of bearish they are still trying to follow the short without understanding what's the bigger picture trying to do so that's it for the thesis so this is a static target most of you know that I'm a big fan of trailing stops, but on this particular position, because right now it's Friday, I'm happy to just scrape off the entire position for about 7.5 R. Here shows 6.79, but I got skill in along the way. So I'm very happy with this position. Pretty solid, very disciplined, execution-wise on point as well. Skill in on point. I could have added another small size at 66.40, but... I wanted to keep my risk within the parameter. That's why I did not add another size. But it is what it is. So it's still a very good trade, $22,000. And I'll talk to you next time. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.